Helen Keller once said, The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. When she was born, we thought everything was great. Within about two hours, I guess, we got a call back and said there's something wrong with the baby. She's not breathing right. She's turning blue. While we're at the hospital, one of the very first things that we were told that she was not saturating, her oxygen level was dropping. They transported her to Children's. And the very first time we talked to doctors, they told us she's not going to make it through the night. Dr. Royal is definitely the bomb. The word bomb means absolutely awesome. <laughs> he uh, did so much for me. He saved my life. So when Haley was born, she had a problem with her bones in her chest cage, her ribs and her backbone, which made her lungs uh, basically trapped so that she could not breathe on her own and had to be on a ventilator. At the time Haley was born, we had a home ventilator program to train really strong families where they can take their children home on a ventilator while they hopefully improve and eventually are able to come off the ventilator. Her other condition is septo-optic dysplasia, or also known as SOD. It presents with undersized optical nerves, which is what causes her blindness. Haley has handled being blind quite impressively. It's almost like it's not there. She doesn't have the same kind of things that you would typically associate with being blind. She has a energy and a daringness in her that you don't typically see in a lot of blind kids. She's just head first. I'm just gonna go for it. I like to feel things. It's my way of getting a clear picture of, you know, what's going on. You you know what I mean? Haley and I like to play Goobalack. We call it Goobalwami. It's a substance made out of water and cornstarch. Well, if you like take it out of the bowl, it's a liquid. And when you put it in the bowl, it's a solid. My mommy's my biggest cheerleader. Right, mommy. She's super smart and loves to read. If she learns from it, it's her absolute favorite. She loves to learn. Haley attends public school and always has. So she was approached and tested and has been in the gifted and talented program in mainstream public school since the first grade. She goes in lots of braille competitions and she wins them. And she's made it to the National Braille Challenge three years in a row. So that's pretty impressive <laughs> to, to do that three years in a row. I was the first blind child to compete in the Oklahoma Native American Youth Language Fair. First year she's ever competed. She picked up the language in about two and a half months. She won first place. She helped create the Cherokee Braille system, which didn't exist before Haley. And she gave the Cherokee Braille writer its Cherokee name. I named the embosser Blind Mommy's Baby, which in Cherokee is Digadole Utla Age Usti. We all have different abilities. Just some of ours are more obvious than others. Some of us can't see. Well, unfortunately, some of us can't feel. And to me, that's a much, much bigger disability than those who can't see. Feel, she can't. You know, she's one of the biggest hearted people I know. She's one of the happiest little girls you will ever meet. And just the fact that she can't see, it doesn't make or break who she is in any way, shape, or form. The way I feel about it is, you know, she's not supposed to be here. She wasn't supposed to make it past the first night. She wasn't supposed to be here past a year. She wasn't supposed to be here past five years. She wasn't supposed to have any quality of life. She wasn't supposed to sit up. She couldn't stand. They said she'd never walk. They said she'd never talk. She'd never carry on an intelligent conversation with you. Look at her. Is that a miracle? To me, that's the definition of a miracle. 
what she is. Amen. <laughs> she is our miracle. Thank you for making miracles like me happen. The money raised through Children's Miracle Network Hospitals goes to Children's Hospital Foundation to bring the most outstanding research doctors in the country to Oklahoma City. Every year, children from all 77 counties in Oklahoma are treated at Children's Hospital regardless of their ability to pay and no child is ever turned away. Children's Miracle Network Hospitals provides necessary funding to give hope for all children needing a medical miracle. Research, education, and clinical care hold keys to a bright and healthy future for children like me and the children of Oklahoma. So a large part of the successful development of our department has been due to the excellent community support we've received from Children's Hospital Foundation. And today we have a very strong pediatric department. Many people are supported by endowed chairs and we've been able to expand our mission to the full scope of academic medicine, including more vigorous research as well as excellent patient care. Children's Miracle Network is why I'm being called mom still because without them I wouldn't have her. Your contribution to Children's Hospital Foundation will make a difference in the life of a child.